Hello, and welcome back to the Splatoon 3 Inside the Mind series. So today, we're going to talk about, well, comebacks. What happens when, you know, your back is against the wall and the opponent's got a big lead? How do you, how do you maintain your composure and come away with a victory? The short version is, well, don't try to do too much, you know? Take, you know, go one step at a time and try and kind of build momentum uh, towards a push that will get you, uh, get you victory. Uh, so what does, that, uh, what does that actually look like? Well, let's take a look. So, if you enjoy this sort of thing, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more fun and informative Nintendo content. Now, let's get right to the action. All right, we are here on Undertow Spillway this time. I'm playing some tower control. Now, take a look at this team. I can I can pause it right here, but do those do those folks look familiar? It turns out that this is the exact same team that we went up against in one of my previous videos on Brinewater Springs and just uh, just completely destroyed them. They're back for some revenge this time, and for a while they're gonna get it. Uh, let's uh, let's take the drum out of this. I'm gonna get my head handed to me for about the first two minutes of this, uh, of this match. So let's see what happens. Here, I'm looking at the Slosher Deco. Uh, what I don't see is the Tri-Slosher kind of switching places with them and coming up onto the tower. Uh, of course, Brella's not a great matchup with Sloshers. And once they get in my face here, I don't have my shield, I am toast. Now, most of us go down here. Props to the Junior for somehow managing to stay alive and actually pushing the tower a little bit. Uh, but they're eventually going to go down. I jump to them, but now I'm, now I'm in a really bad spot against the Tri Slosher. No ink coverage, and I'm just going to go down fast. So things are not looking good to start. So we're going to try setting up on the left side here, but now I'm going to go up against the Slosher. Now, I have a little bit better ink coverage this time. It's kind of a contested area, but unfortunately, the, I'm going to lose my shield pretty quick, and Sloshers have pretty good range, pretty good damage. Yeah, I'm going to go down here, and the Slosher's actually going to go in and take out our Junior as well. So, what now? We've been rolled up about three times, so let's try and be a bit smarter about this. Let's try and set up on the, you know, recommended defensive position, which is right here. So I'm going to stand here, try and throw some, some ink onto the tower. Unfortunately, I'm going to lose my shield pretty quick, which means that I'm going to try and drop down here to get out of the way of the squelcher, which means I'm right next to the tri slosher again. They go through my shield a second time. Thankfully, our Blaster and Junior team up to, uh, to stop that push, but so far, it hasn't looked very good. So now, you can see the, the Jet Squelcher is going to set up on this high ground here. Now, as an undercover Brella, I love messing around with uh, anchor weapons, but uh, the problem is, of course, with your lower damage, it's going to take you a little while to take the, uh, this Squelcher out which is a problem because they're just going to uh, tank that until the tri slosher shows up and they're right in my face and... Yeah! <laughs> it goes about as well as you might expect. So, okay, how much how much worse can this, can this go? Well, how about yet another tussle with the slosher deco? Now here, again, not only are we in close against the Slosher, but there's a lot of yellow ink around, which lets the Slosher kind of move around, try to circle around a bunch, and they end up getting behind me here. Just not a good spot overall. So, what is that, like five or six deaths already, and we're, you know, a minute and 40 seconds into the match? Yeah, so, at this point, the real key is to not get discouraged. Take a breath, realize that, you know, you're not out of this yet, uh, and you just really need one play. Start small, 
look for, you know, kind of make a, a checklist in your head. Okay, first I'm going to try to do this, then I'm going to try to do this. Uh, in this case, I'm going to try to take up a better defensive position, and then I'm going to try and go for a splat. Uh, as luck would have it, the tri slosher comes up to, uh, to try and take our ledge. Uh, we're not going to let that happen. Uh, we catch a break here. Uh, the crab is actually looking at our dualies, and we're going to take them out from behind. We're going to push the jet away. Uh, my teammates are going to deal with them. And now we've at least kind of cleaned things up a little bit. Now, okay, we're not under pressure at this point. Start thinking about, okay, what's our next move? Do we ride the tower? Do we play off the tower? Do we go after who we see? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to let my teammates handle the tower. I'm going to try and play in front and see, you know, if I can engage the enemy uh, before they can get to our tower. So let's see what happens. So the Slosher Deco is going to be our first target. You can see them in the ink ahead of us. Uh, we're going to try and reef slide them. Now, this is not a terrible idea. You see, I actually, um, you know, I don't get the angle kind of up onto the ramp, but by hiding behind this ledge, I do have a little bit more cover, uh, you know, deal with the end, uh, to deal with the end lag of the, of the reef slider. So they're going to try to throw some ink over the ledge. They're not going to hit me. And now, this time, I'm going to try and keep a bit more distance. I'm not going to try and be right up in their face, because that hasn't, hasn't really worked for me up to this point. So, naturally, they go behind cover on the left side, and I'm going to have to close in. But you can see now, I've got a little bit more ink coverage around. It's very purple in this area. So they're going to try to go around me, but this time, I catch a break. They end up running into my shield, and uh, they're done. So now, suddenly, this Jet Squelcher is sitting next to me. Hey, no problem. I love taking on anchor weapons. Jet Squelchers do not have great damage per shot. So I'm just going to, you know, say, come at me. The good news here, I tunnel a bit on the Jet Squelcher, but you can see the shots coming in from the left. The Splat Dooleys kind of give themselves away here. So I know at this point, okay, the Jet Squelcher can't do a whole lot with me. They're at a, a really bad angle. So, but I still want to deal with them. So, Splat Dooleys, hey, nice knowing you, but I've got my Reef Slider. Ain't nobody got time to deal with you. So, get rid of you. Now, we can go back and deal with the Squelcher. This time, we land enough shots to knock them out. And, lo and behold, the Slosher arrives. Now, the difference is, you know, they still have, you know, they still have the Slosher, they still have got that range, the damage, but they're in my house now. There's a lot of purple ink here. And what you'll notice is they really can't move. They're jumping around trying to try to hit me, and they'll actually take out my shield, but there's really nowhere for them to go. And eventually, I'm just going to knock them out. Now, all this time, my teammates are all kind of sitting over by the tower. They've been dealing with the tri slosher kind of three on one, and so they've had really no trouble moving the tower up to checkpoint two. So next, I want to try and take over the enemy defensive ledge. You can see, it looks like the try, I believe, up there already. Now, I'm going to try, I've got my reef slider ready again. I'm going to just try and reef slide in, see if I can catch them off guard. Uh, I don't really, most of them actually get out of the way before, uh, before I explode. But I do manage to take the jet squelcher down again before uh, the slosher deco gets me. Also... Check this out. That's the perhaps the first recorded, uh, known recorded footage of an angle shooter kill. <laughs> so hey, I guess they, they have that going for them. Um, but they're not going to do a whole lot on the tower. We're going to knock them out. And in fact, that's a wipeout. So from here, uh, we're not going to do a whole lot. I'm going to challenge the try here on the tower. I'm going to go down because, you know, that's what happens, but I'm going to do enough to help the junior out to take them down. And from here, we can just move the tower and take the win. So, as bad as that game looked for almost two minutes, we were able to refocus, turn it around, and decide, okay, we have to do this and this and this and find our way to victory. 
So we made a plan and we executed and we did not lose sight of our goal. So I hope you found something here to, uh, to help your, uh, your gameplay out when you find yourself in a sticky situation in ranked battles in the future. Uh, never give up. Trust your instincts, as, uh, as Peppy Hare would say. You know, make sure, don't panic, try and start small, and, uh, and kind of build, you know, find some minor victories that you can build off of to gain some momentum, and perhaps roll all the way to victory. So, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you again in a future video. So long!